See, the tradition of my family is to join the army for this is the fourth generation. In First World War, Second World War. But main cause was because India was beaten back by Chinese in 62. So we made up mind to join the army and take revenge. I was 20 years, 7 years old and my rank was second lieutenant. I was in weapon course at Mao during that period. I came to know through newspaper and my unit sent me a message to join back forthwith. See, my family was very sportive because they have seen number of wars. So there was no problem from family side in fact they encouraged me to join. I was posted on Indo-Chinese border before the war. That is, place is known as Dharchula. See, our unit was at four hours notice when I joined back to unit after weapon course. So there was no other way of reaching there. Army had a very few vehicles. So we were we moved from Dharchula to the Pathan court by civil trucks. My unit was deployed in Shalkot sector, which is a part of which at that time it was a part of 69 brigade. The task which the brigade was given and unit was given was so decisive that we turned the face of the whole war and whatever object were given we achieved them and their attention from Chamjoria was diverted to Shalkot. We completed few missions. First is we were given the task of capture the Maharajke town which was a recruiting center for the rangers. Then we captured all the important towns and cut off the railway line and road from Shalkot to Lahore. And objectives were given to this unit, all were completed. My God. So, Indian and Pakistan, we were very superior as far as the training, motivation are concerned, though they had superior weapon. See, we have to take the revenge of Pakistan. They invaded us in sorry, that uh, Gujarat border. And after that, we learned that because they have misused their that a defeat with China, so they were fully prepared, thinking that Indian team, Indian army has become very weak. Number two, when we moved from Pathan Court to that our place of attack, I saw the children and uh, people from Jammu coming on foot. The challenges we faced is quite a few, but main was that we did not get timely help from Air Force, Artillery and Armored Corps. It was totally a army war. See, one incident was when we moved for the attack during night about 2 o'clock, the LMG, MMG start firing during night. And one of my JCO, he was a very trained one, dedicated part, they were firing the weapons and the bullet with the tracer round, which we couldn't see the flight of that. So he told us, Sir, you have to move because tracer round are going upward. So we moved downward and with that objective, we reached very near to the MMG which were firing. And number two, one of our two Jawans from Kerala, they attacked on their MMG with their hand grenade and stopped them. And we cleared the village within no time. Government expectation, of course, they were always or not due. Whatever were due was not granted to the people who fought, who died, and all these things is still continuing. In the current generation of fighters, he said they must, they should be motivated one. They should not join army because they will get good salary and all that. No, they have to. They should join with the aim that they have to sacrifice and hard work. If they think they will become IS and ISO, nothing will, they must be ready to fight and get killed. That should be the aim. And secondly, those who are not joined the army and they are young, they should be given compulsory military training for two years before joining anywhere, civil or government service. See, after the 62 war, Pakistan thought 
that Indian army is weak. That is why they have been defeated. They were mistaken. And taking that advantage, they, they attacked us with, without any provocation. And, but we were mentally prepared. Uh, but secondly, when we were moving from Pathan Court to the area of our operation, I saw and all we saw, the families, displaced family were coming from Jammu to on foot. And that angered more to take revenge from them. That is the immediate one. See, what we faced when we were told to attack, at the lower level, at officer's level also, we never knew. The intelligence was total failure. We never knew where we are going, whatever weapon the enemy is having, how they are located. That was the biggest hurdle we had. And that the intelligence failure still continuing.